Uh, I don't think so. You know, we've done a lot of trading throughout the year. The coach has pushed us to the fullest, and I think we were prepared for everything that ha happened to us. What was the difference this time around compared to those first two? Do you feel like? Uh, you know, they just made shots. Um, the first half or the second game, they didn't make as many shots. Uh, today, they're you know, creating off the dribble, making plays. Um, you know, they were getting to all of those balls before, so just you know, overall, you know, a great, a great game between the two teams. But you know, they came out and played the power stretch. Tyler, what was so different offensively for you guys, from particularly the guards today versus the other night? Uh, uh, obviously, we just missed some shots. Uh, I don't know, we just missed some shots. If you had it kind of to do over, would you change anything about the approach offensively? Uh, no, I think the coach had a great game plan for us. Um, obviously, we did the right thing. We lost the game on the defensive end. And what happened there you know, when, when their guards started? It seemed like first half they were going to try to do their, their, their normal thing and shoot the threes in the second half. Yeah. They decided to put you guys on your heels and attack. Uh, yeah. Um, that was kind of our game plan, just forcing them to the hoop. Um, all season, they haven't been great at shooting layups over length. And uh, today, they come to beat us off the dribble. You know, made those layups and their memory and stuff like that. What has this team meant to you? Uh, it means everything. Um, I appreciate every single buddy or everyone who's been a part of this. I love all my teammates, all my coaches, and you know, I wouldn't trade anything for it. Tyler, can you kind of summarize just what your thoughts are on the efforts that PJ put out there this weekend after being, you know, barely able to walk about a week ago? Yeah, uh, he's a fighter, he's a great competitor. Uh, he wants to win as bad as anybody, so we're happy. You know, he came out this week and gave, gave him everything he had. I mean, 28 points today and 13 rebounds for him. Did he exceed your guys' expectations for what he'd be able to do here? Of course, uh, that's PJ. You know, he can do that night in, night out, as you guys seen this year. Uh, he's just, you know, a great player. When you look back on this game, what do you look at and think went wrong? Went wrong? Uh, they just wanted it more down the stretch. Um, I think they played a little bit harder so, uh, as far as getting offensive rebounds and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it was a great game. Credit to them. <coughs> why, do you, why would that be, do you think? I'm not too sure. Tyler, how do you figure out what's next for you? What's What, what happens next? Uh, just go back to Lexington. You know, just cherish this moment with my, you know, my teammates. We had a great ride. You know, just talk with my family, coaches. See what happens. Is there any chance we see you back in that uniform next year? Of course. Of course, there's a chance, or of course you will be back. <laughs> there's a chance, definitely a chance. <laughs> why, why do you say of course? Uh, you know, I just love Kentucky. Um, you know, I haven't thought of a decision. I haven't looked at anything. I don't even know where I, you know, I'm standing right now. But you know, I just, I love the coaching staff, and I just, you know, I love Kentucky. What was the 